Hi, and welcome to this Stair Tailored video. I'm Samantha Boss from the University of Texas at Austin, and today we're going to focus on how you can subtract integers using virtual manipulatives, specifically our virtual two-colored counters. So today we're going to focus on how to solve these two subtraction problems. The first one, negative 3 minus 2, as well as 4 minus negative 6. And before we get into the manipulatives, first I want to just emphasize that there's a difference between our subtraction symbol and our negative symbol. It's really important that we can differentiate between the minus sign and the negative sign when we're talking to students and using these symbols. It's really important to be precise and specific when we're talking both about our math numbers as well as, like I said, our math symbols. So helping me out here today with our virtual manipulatives is Rachel Jurgensen from the University of Missouri. She's going to show us how you can use virtual two-colored counters to solve these two problems. Take it away, Rachel. Okay, let's use our two-color counters to help us subtract integers. The first problem we're going to solve is this one here, negative 3 minus 2. So we'll start with the first integer. We have negative 3. We're going to use the red counters to represent negative integers. So we'll pull out 3 for that negative 3. 1, 2, 3. The next thing the problem is asking us to do is subtract positive 2. But when you look here, we don't have any positive counters to represent positive 2. So we're going to use our zero pairs to help us be able to do that. So to get 2 over here for the positive, we're going to use our, neg our zero pairs. So we have a negative 1 and a positive 1. There's a zero pair. Now we have 1 for the positive side. Then we'll do another one, negative 1 and positive 1 for another zero pair. Since they equal zero, it doesn't change the value, but it can help us solve this problem. So now we have the positive two that we need here, and the problem is asking us to subtract those. So I'm going to take those over here to subtract them, and now we can solve this problem. What we're left with is one, two, three, four, five, and remember red is negative, so we're left with a negative five. So that's our difference. We have negative 3 minus 2 equals negative 5. Okay, let's use these counters to, let's reset, solve the next problem. The next problem is 4 minus negative 6. So let's start with this first integer. It's a positive 4, so we're going to pull out 4 yellow counters. 2, 3, and 4. Four. Let me scooch those over. One, two, three, four. Now the problem is asking us to subtract negative six. But if you look at our counters, we don't have any negative counters. So we need to use our zero pairs to help us. So we'll take a positive one and a negative one. There's a zero pair. And our goal is to try to get six of these negative counters. So we need six red ones. Positive one and a negative one. There's a zero pair. Positive one and a negative one. Now we're up to three. We need to get to six. A positive one and a negative one. There is a zero pair. Positive one and a negative one. And let's see, we're at one, two, three, four, five. We need to get to negative six. So one more positive, negative, a zero pair. So now we have what we need to be able to solve the problem. The problem is asking us to subtract negative six. So the red ones, we're going to subtract these. We're going to subtract one, two, three, four, five and six. And what we're left with is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten positive. So our answer, we have four minus negative six equals ten. 
Thanks, Rachel, with your help with that. So Rachel just showed us how we can subtract integers using two colored counters. We have lots of other great stair tailored videos where we use different virtual manipulatives as well as in-person manipulatives to add, subtract, divide, and multiply integers, fractions, ton of really great math content. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as check us out on Twitter. Thanks again for watching this stair tailored video. Hope to see you soon.